really calm. I thought he was going to be kind of fresh, but we'll see when we actually start asking something of him. Well, so uh, that, that leads me to ask, how, how many days has it been that he's been off, that he really hasn't had any work done? Oh, maybe a week. Okay, you know what, this is, and sometimes these things happen where, you know, uh, you got other things going on, you got other priorities that happen, and uh, you can't, for whatever reason, get to that horse at that moment or for a few days, and it's not time lost. So don't worry about, hey, I couldn't get to work on this horse, I couldn't, just couldn't get to him, because what you can do is you use that as a uh, kind of a check-in session to see where he's at and his development of the training. And what you do is you use it as a, as a test and say, okay, he's been off for five days or seven days, uh, and now I'm going to go back and I'm going to refresh everything that we did very quickly. You know, just, just spend this time for uh, a kind of an evaluation of how well he's learned his lessons and how well they stuck. And I will tend to do this uh, at times with a horse if I see them get – uh, kind of checked out mentally. They start to just get upset or uh, easily annoyed or, you know, they get a little lethargic or they're just not learning like you think they should. I turn them off for a number of days and just let them be a horse. Let them graze, let them sleep, let them, you know, swat flies and interact with other horses, whatever it takes to just let them be a horse. And oftentimes when you do that, you come back, you can see what you need to work on a little bit more. Or if nothing's really going on, that time off is like a vacation for them and lets them reset and they come back in and they will start learning. Or what they've already learned, they start tending to respond better and smoother. And so it, it's not wasted time. It's, it, it has to happen at times. So, so you working him in the corral like this is very, very good. This is, this is exactly what we want to do. Start out again like this, and then we'll just go all the way up through all of the stuff you've trained into him so far to see how well he does. Good. Good boy. So even though um, you leave off on a good note where you feel like you're progressing in your training, and then something happens and you have to take time off, um, you're saying that's not necessarily a bad thing. No. It's, it's not. No, that's exactly right. And, 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 you know, a lot of times we go, oh, I need to get this horse done. And you do. I mean, you can't, you can't work them, you know, once a week, um, and expect to get anywhere with them. Uh, we are kind of doing that, you know, a couple times a week. We're getting him to work, but we're slowing this training way down, right? I mean, we're, you're learning, he's learning, and I'm learning, you know, how to do this kind of remotely too. So, uh, we're all three doing something that we haven't really done a lot of before. <laughs> so yeah. uh, yeah, slowing it down is, is really the right thing to do. Um, you know, and like I said before, it depends on the horse. It depends on conditions. But uh, on an average, I can have a horse trained in five to six weeks if I stay at him. And that includes giving him uh, time on that. There he's kind of pushing through you. Good job kind of pushing him back. And, and what he's done there is he's just pushed on you. He's just, just checking to see whether or not you're going to hold him accountable and, and move him off. So oh, good job. So I've had a lot of people ask, so how long does it take to train a horse? <laughs> and I was yeah. because we're taking so long to do this. Uh, and you say, I think you were about to say you could train a horse in five, six weeks. So what do you say to people? Uh, how do you answer that question? You know, that's really good because, yeah, I get that question constantly. Um, you know, some of it is just curiosity. Other times it's people bringing you a horse and they want this horse, you know, trained yesterday. And so what I tell them is it, it takes what it takes. The horse will tell me when they're done. And, uh, you know, I've got enough horses that I've trained over the uh, too many years that, you know, I've, I've got kind of an average, you know. So I can tell them the average horse takes five to six weeks. I've had some of them that were done in, uh, you know, four weeks, literally a 30-day horse, and some of them that have taken me months, uh, six months to do. Depends on, on their mental state, depends on a lot of things. If they've had previous work that's been done to them and somebody, uh, you know, messed it up, and that's why you're getting the horse now. You know, there's all kinds of, of factors into that, but uh, my answer is, and it really is the right answer, I think, is 
when that horse can do everything that I need them to do and do it as I ask and at the uh, proficiency of which I ask it, when they can do that consistently and I feel they're a safe horse for somebody else, then they're done being trained. And, and so do you put that in on starting an older horse, too? Yeah, and starting an older horse takes usually a little bit longer to do because, uh, you know, they're not as, as malleable mentally as a young horse. A, a two-year-old horse is uh, much, much easier to train because they're, they're so much easier to, to kind of mold that mind and that, that uh, the bonding takes place where an older horse, especially one that's never been trained or been touched, such as uh, uh, like a Mustang, I've trained a number of them, and they're difficult to train to begin with, but once you do, like you do with all horses, and you get them to bond with you, then the training is essentially the same. You may have uh, some differences in how how spooky they are to external things. Um, you know, those are kind of factors that you you just have as an individual have to work 